the Ebola outbreak has had a devastating impact on affected countries. That includes food shortages and unemployment. But the epidemic not only affected West Africa, countries like South Africa, Kenya and Tanzania are also feeling the economic pinch. The, the first impact of obviously is the direct costs in terms of what does it take to, to contain the disease. Um, and, and to put in place um, infrastructure for public health care. Um, so this obviously um, may, places a huge fiscal constraint for, for these economies if we talk about Sierra Leone. Most of these governments actually now have huge expenditures for health care, much, much bigger than the expenditures or, or, or rather much bigger than uh, their capacity to, uh, to raise through taxes. And therefore these countries now need, uh, you know, they find themselves in a fiscal hole that uh, will have to be supported either through financial aid from, from uh, you know, their partners and development uh, organizations and so forth. UN Chief Ban Ki-moon has been making urgent calls for the international community to join efforts to stop the virus. Several countries, including China, have answered that call. About 200 Chinese medical workers and advisors are stationed in the three worst affected nations. Ebola is a global problem that demands a massive and immediate global response. The entire United Nations system, including World Bank, are mobilized to do all it can, including through UNMIA, United Nations Mission for Emerg United Nations Missions for Emergence Ebola uh, Response. The World Health Organization needs around 260 million U.S. dollars to meet the objectives of its response to the Ebola outbreak. But despite global pledges, it's only received around half of that so far. Maria Galang, CCTV.